Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be taking a look at what slash commands and buttons are and how to use them in Click's developer platform. Slash commands are shortcuts that can be performed in any conversation. They are used to pull or push files in chat, trigger workflows and perform actions. For example, let's say you're talking with your colleague about an upcoming meeting. You want to share a spreadsheet with them which is on your Google Drive. Instead of exiting the chat and going to Google Drive, downloading the file and sharing it with them, what if you could just pull it straight from the drive into the chat without having to go through all of this process? For this, you can just create a slash command which will pull in all the files that are present in your Google Drive. From there, you can share the required files directly with the user without ever having to exit the chat. Let's try creating a slash command like that. First, let's create a connection with Google Drive using our connections component. Since Google Drive is already supported as a default connection, it will be very easy to connect. If you want a detailed explanation of how to use connections, check out the previous video in which I've gone in depth about it. Now let's create the slash command. Go to the profile picture, click on bots and tools and select create command in the slash command integration. Enter the name for your command. Since our command is going to pull files from our Google Drive, let's name our command as slash G drive files. Enter the hint for your command and select its access level. Now click on save and edit code. First let's delete the default code. Now let's change our chat window to our required chat. Now in the code, let's use the invoke URL function to connect to Google Drive. We can get the URL from the Google Drive API docs. Just search for Google Drive API in any search engine and get the URL from their page. The type is going to be get. If we check the API, we can see that we need to pass an extra parameter called fields to get all the fields. So let's create a map called params and put the parameter in the map and add it to the invoke URL function. We've already created the connection, so we'll use it here. Now let's use the info statement to see what is being returned. We can see that the body is being returned in the execution response. Let's go to the message builder to build a message card. As you can see, there are three types of button functions. Open.url is used to open a web page on clicking the button, which is what we're going to use to view the file in our Google Drive. And we have invoke.function, which is used to invoke a button function. We also have system.api which will invoke a system function such as starting a chat or starting a call. Let's add two buttons to a text component, one open.url button for the user themselves to view it on their Google Drive and the other which invokes a function that will share the view link in the chat.
Now back in the code editor, by looking at the execution response, let's get the list of files from the body in a variable called files to access each individual file content from the list of files. We're also going to create a list called slides array so that we can add each file as a slide in the message card. In the loop, we're going to get the file ID and the URL in variables. We are going to add them in the slides array one by one. Let's use the JSON of the slide component in the code to add the file details into the slides array. Now let's replace all the values with their dynamic variables. Now let's tweak our message card and copy the JSON and paste it in the code. And make sure to replace the slides array with our dynamic slides array. Make sure we're returning the response. Now click on save to save the function. Now let's create the button function for the button to share the view link in the chat. To create a button function, all you have to do is create a function and choose the function type as button function. Let's name the function as G drive share. Chat is a default system variable which contains all the details of the current chat. We're going to get the chat ID in which the button is executed and store it in a variable called chat ID. Let's invoke the connection and this time we're going to get only that individual file. If we go back to the Google Drive REST API documents, we can see that we need the ID of the file to get its details. Luckily, we can get the ID of the file from the key we passed as arguments in the button function. In the REST API, we can see that we need the web view link from the response body. So let's pass that as the only parameter.
Let's use the info function to get the response of the invoke URL function. Let's execute the slash command in the chat window. Here we can see that all three of the files that I have in my Google Drive are listed in the chat. On clicking view, the document opens in our drive. On clicking share, we can see in the execution response that only the web view link field is returned. Let's store it in a variable called view. Now let's go back to the message builder to frame a message card with a button to view the doc. Let's store this in a new variable called response. Now let's replace the URL with our variable view. Let's use the post to chat task to post the link in the chat and share it with the other user. Now let's try clicking on the share button. We can see that the command has posted a message card in the chat with a button to view the file. Now the other user can access this file from their Google Drive. This is how you can use slash commands, buttons and connections to link your Google Drive and share files from it in click without having to exit the chat. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you got a clear idea on what slash commands and buttons and click are and how you can use them. Please hit the like if you found this video informative and stay tuned for more.